Welcome back guys to this very interesting video and uh, I was really excited to get this out but what we are going to cover essentially is <coughs> is something entirely different than you've ever seen on YouTube probably or at least the combination of, of a Mars rock uh, being created out of a chunk of steel uh, on earth and um, you know I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of you need a lot of more time you have to consider that I don't have a NASA budget of course I'm not a multi-billionaire but I'm trying to to feed your thoughts about some things could be fake maybe they're using this maybe they're using that uh, also trying to learn you guys uh, some stuff here all I want to do is, is, is tell you that you have always have to be wary about things you see so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an amazing skeptic here I, I barely believe what I see on the streets almost now I don't believe we live on a, in a matrix just figuratively speaking of course so do, do you see something strange in this image or you think it's okay um, you know let's check it out Have a quick look here just check out the areas here and you know it's a typical NASA picture right let me zoom out there so I'm gonna tell you right off the bat so uh, this rock is fake. It doesn't exist. I haven't copied it out of anything here. I haven't. Uh, maybe you you can see it now because I told you, you know. But uh, I'm hoping that you didn't see it. I mean, uh, you you need a lot of time here and uh, some precision work to do this. I haven't done this in ages, really in ages. I had to uh, go to a friend of mine and ask him how did you do that again. So. Um, I hope you're excited by seeing this and you're like, oh, really? Is that a fake rock? So let me show you. Why not? And we'll uh, go in details on how you can create it for yourself. Um, let me show you how the original look like. This is a rock. I just got it from Google and uh, nothing special here. So in order to create such a rock here, let me show you the other rock. You can make, uh, make uh, of this anything you would like. Let me look at it. So I'm just trying to say that you always have to look out, have to be on the lookout when you're checking out images that are being covered up. Because uh, yeah, I fully believe that there's being uh, stuff covered up by NASA. I mean, this area is really weird. The pixelation is really stupid. I'm working on um, on um, trying to replicate this as well. I found the answer on how they make images look really crap. So uh, yeah, I hope you're excited just as me. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Thank you for the new subscriber, and uh, I'm celebrating it this way. It's a couple of videos, so I'll show you how, how we uh, achieve this. So first of all, you have to smack in uh, a chunk of steel, of course. I typed in uh, chunk molten steel, I believe, and then just smacked it into Photoshop. Not really that hard. Next step you have to take is what do you want the the rock to look like if you want to blend it right in here it means it, it has to look like the area f from here so um, let's grab a um, thing here which shall we take and we'll grab this area looks really nice so here you have to select tool you grab it and do it like this I mean this will be a short at least I hope this will be a short video um, it's not that hard really did I copy it in or what I hope sorry let's go back to the image let's close this one we don't need it anymore quick select select it here all right got it now it's in there let's stretch it out and let's cover the entire rock you know let's do it Alright, I know the resolutions don't uh, comply, I mean look look at NASA quality, it doesn't matter what you do, it it will look crap anyways. So what, you what you do now is right click here, sorry, mistake here, let me copy the original layer, and let me just hide all this crap. So, yeah, I hope you really try this for yourself, or at least that your, your eyes have opened. And please watch the video till the end and, and so, so you can remember that, that you can be manipulated in any way, in any form. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
What I'm next to do here is grab this layer, pick this one, all right. Then we'll make a mask out of it, and then you grab this one, right click, blending options, go to this one, and uh, Oh, so how do you want it to uh, look like, you know, just pick something that works out for you. Opacity. What shall we take? Well, it's not that easy as you, as you think. I mean, you got to make it right, you know. And that's the whole thing here. I think I've, I took a wrong, a wrong area to be... Uh, Precisely here. Multiply. Yeah, I think I took the wrong area. Anyway, you get the point right. You know what? Let me grab this one. As an example, this is another uh, image I got from Google. Make a copy out of it. Smack that one in there. Alright, looks nice. Place it on the rock itself. I'll make it a bit bigger here. Alright, again. Alright, mask is on. Blending options. Let's do this. Mm, what do you like? What do you like? I mean, the results are so absolutely better than, than a minute ago. You gotta admit that. As said before. I am not a uh, multi billionaire with a giant budget that I did work for NASA at all. I'm trying to uh, hurt NASA where, where it really hurts. <laughs> and no other words for it. So, uh, next thing here, remember to keep your hardness down. I mean, it blends in a lot better. You can, I think, I just do a bit like this. And then uh, let's make a duplicate layer to be sure. Remember, it's really important. So you can always go back. And just follow the lines of the rock a bit, you know. So here you go. Awesome, right? And you can really just play around with this. And, uh, you know, it looks awesome. It's starting to look really awesome, if you ask me. And let's grab a bit of those. Because when you uh, lose the, uh, when you do the uh, hardness here, you can just you know just a bit tad on the rock itself. So you can uh, remove all these kind of things, bring up the uh, shape of it, you know, and that's how you work. And uh, maybe there's a tad here. Oh, wow, that was really hardcore. Strength, strength. Come on, where is it? Anyways, yeah, you could just. Make it look really weird, you know, just blend in however you'd like to do it. I think it was actually fine as it was. And you know, how that, that, that's how I did it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's not really that hard. And what we do now is right click here, merge layers, and uh, you've got yourself an awesome, awesome uh, rock, if you ask me. And uh, as you've seen there, it, you know, you can really change anything you want the way you want it, and it's really nice to do this. You know, you can change it just the way you want it to look like, and uh, please practice this a bit. And what you what you do in the, in essence, at least how I blend the, um, the rock in here, is by just grabbing here what they uh, will always use on us here. Look at it, dodge tool. Grab the sorry, the blur tool here, and now just just blur it out. Just like look at it; it's all blurred out there. So you no, know, it's not that hard. I highly recommend to check out for yourself if you want to see the rock solo. Here it is. Wow, and and that's just it. Nothing really special here. We could, I uh, see, we can uh, change anything we, we, we want it to be. Just go in here, for example, and look at it. And, um, wow. Really? 
Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope I've opened your eyes. I mean, uh, it's not that easy to show this on YouTube how I did it. I mean, there's so much settings you have to ha actually have to pay attention to details, the uh, the surroundings uh, where you want to place it, um, what texture you want on the on the chunk of steel, and and, and those kind of things, you know. And uh, it's it you have to pay some attention to it. So uh, forgive me if you're not uh, not uh, satisfied. But I really hope I've opened your eyes. Just, just be wary. And I think I even had a. See, I was busy here trying to create an, an, an entire new rock here. So I took this area. You look at this stone here, which is behind this one. What you could easily do is. Let me give you a quick example here. Just remove this part. And now. It's an entire new rock, and yeah, I just, I just have to spend some time with it and uh, change it about uh, the way you want it to be, because yeah, yeah, I'm over. I hope you really like it. So uh, let me grab a quick art and look here. Grab it, and I'll max it out. Ha! <laughs> See, this what I mean. When it's really uh, set too hard, it blends in uh, worse. There and you could just position it anywhere the way you'd like it and uh, sharpen this thing up so it will blend in. Now you uh, process the entire image like they're always doing to every image. I mean, I just wanted to use the F word so badly right now. <coughs> but I'm trying to keep it neat here, trying to keep it straight. You wouldn't even know it if um, you wouldn't even question it. Because yeah, there's so much in an image that they just ruin it for you. Uh, have a nice day. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, if you want to follow me on G+, that's awesome, awesome as well. But be sure to subscribe uh, as well. So uh, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. We now have more than 100 subscribers. So I'm super, super excited here. And uh, thank you again for watching.